Welcome, everyone, to Tucson, Arizona. Arizona Stadium with this red and blue crowd ready to bear down with their Wildcats. What a game we have in store for you today. A Big 12 showdown, and the implications could last for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Colorado Buffaloes taking on the 16th-ranked team in the land, the Arizona Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Buffaloes will kick it away to start us off. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Arizona Wildcats offense will get the first crack at it here. And here he is, one of the best receivers in the game, and he just commands attention both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you got to keep your eye on, and you're going to see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in the slot. He can play out wide. He can run the entire gamut in the route tree as well. Really nothing this guy can't do. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll go right back to him. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. and They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Now on first and 10 from the 29. Back to throw, it's Fafita. Finds a tight end. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Leaves it with the back. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. And you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. They'll try to get it through the air. Using the quick game. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Here's the handoff. And the ball's loose. Now well, look what I found. I'd say that's a stroke of good fortune. The offense keeps it. You know, these running. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. On second down, they'll take to the air. He's got it inside the 15. Touchdown, Wildcats. Reeled it in and just made the house call. How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7 0. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and they capped off the drive with a big play through the air, scoring from 50 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 
looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The Buffaloes offense has the ball for the first time. This matchup on the outside, Jesse, a big play weapon for the offense, a shutdown corner for the D. They say big-time players make big plays in big games, so who gets the best of this matchup? That's going to determine the game. Yeah, I mean, such a fun chess match. How much are they on each other during the game, the head-to-head -head matchup that everybody wants to see? You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. The Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. It's a draw. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27 yard line. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Looking to throw at Sanders. Fires to the right. It's caught downfield. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Unloads it left. Wide open downfield. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. Everybody holds their breath when this guy has the ball. On defense now, you got to stop the bleeding because you're allowing one of the best at his position in the sport of college football. Now have back-to-back -back catches. You better be anticipating this offense going back to him again right here. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Holds it in. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. Well, another catch by the big fella. And, hey, this defense now in the second level, they've got to understand that they're going to see some play action. They can't keep biting on the fake. It's not easy to do. You've got to be aware of the tight end and his release. As soon as you see him get upfield, right now you know it's pass. So don't even worry about the fake. Get your eyes focused and find the big fella to go make a tackle or make a play on the ball. Just does not like to be tackled, discarding guys and getting to the 21. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. The give to the back. And the Buffaloes get the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Plows ahead for a pickup of four down to the 14. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. The running back has it. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. And the defense makes a play. And they get the quarterback down at the 26. Man, that's just kind of frustrating for an offense. You move the ball all the way down the field. You got an opportunity on third down. And you can't protect your quarterback. You get the sack. And now it's probably field goal time if you make a field goal. Now 
Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. This might be a little easier if it were straight on, but a 43-yarder from the right hatch. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage. And he'll be stopped at the 17. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. The give out of the gun. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Dropping back, it's Fafita. Quick completion on the out. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. Fast motion from the offense. Looking for the corner on the jet sweep. They'll get him at the 45, but he got 10 on that one. I love when you run this play because it forces the defense to react. Do you want to spin a safety down? Somebody better keep contained. Very hard to defend the jet sweep. It's a very good play, especially when you got somebody with speed taking that handoff. And the Wildcats have it with a first and ten. He'll pull it on the read. And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. He's not a burner or anything, but he's got enough about him that he can run and hurt you at times. Yeah, he, he's sneaking fast, isn't he? It seems like he's not moving too well, but he's definitely going faster than what he looks. And this defense, they're finding that out right now. That's the end of the quarter, and Arizona has the lead here. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Power football with the run. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. They, when those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Looking downfield, it's Fafita. Safe completion on the screen. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. Another first down. Man, this, this defense, this defense couldn't stop a nosebleed right now. It's that bad. From the 25-yard line, it's first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Let's it fly deep downfield. And that was so close to a turnover in the end zone. The defense almost with the huge play. Oh, what a missed opportunity for that interception. Yes, I know he gets the pass breakup, but he had a chance to finish things off, and he really didn't get it done. But there's a reason he plays defense. You know, they put the guys on offense that can actually catch. Misfired on first down, back to the air on second. Got his man in the middle. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the in route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? Arizona will try to pay off this red zone trip. 
They'll put the tight end in motion. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. That is how it's done on third down and short. Uh, no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily pick that up. It's first and 10 from the 13. Right back to the well. Pulled down after a pickup of five. They'll mark it at the eighth. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Going to work on second down in the red zone and still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with the first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. And the Wildcats line it up with a first and goal. Use the play fake now to throw. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Yeah, I love the little play action fake. It's you get inside the five, you're thinking run, run as a defense come up, be physical, and they slip those guys right behind you, throw it over the top of you. Man, those are tough to defend. Nice little play action by this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14-3. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they close that drive going to the air for the final few inches. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their comfort zone here too, David, a little bit and just start being more aggressive and take some chances, but that's what's going to have to happen for them to win this game. Yeah, and when you're losing, obviously everything gets heightened. Everything becomes more critical. This drive is crucial because you've got to cut into this deficit and put some points on the board. On the run, it's Hayden. Ball is loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. As a defender, you dream about those big hits. You, you work hard on that practice, closing space, getting close, and just sticking that guy and causing the fumble. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. Touchdown, Arizona! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. It takes advantage of great field position. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point makes it a 21-3 lead. That's exactly what you want to do when you have that type of field position. Strike quickly, and they did. One play, and they put it on the board. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Got a man. It's Horn. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. To the air, it's Sanders. Makes the grab on the left. No chance to run, but still a good game. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. The Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. He wants to throw here on second down. That's caught. It's Horn. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield and he moves the sticks. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down for this offense. The RPO. It's complete. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. No huddle here for the offense. Going to run it. It's Hayden. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Grabbed on the outside. It's Horn. And the Buffaloes will punt this one away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The RPO, fire complete to the left. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chain. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quick touch pass to the receiver. On his feet at the 40. And he's brought down after a nice game. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. We've reached a two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Arizona comes out with another first down. 
Back to pass. It's Fafita. Got his man on the right. And they pick up just a few on that completion. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water bugs, man. You, you can play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. Finds his target down the middle. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. This offense is clicking, everything working together really well. Coordinator, quarterback, offensive line, good rhythm, good flow. Defense is going to have to find something to kind of mess up this timing they got going on. They've moved it to the 19, first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a man. The throw to the outside is complete. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking to throw on second down. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling the rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her fly. I haven't seen a lot of balls fall incomplete, especially deep down the field. That one did, but I'd expect this guy to keep letting it go. Wants to throw one third down. Gets it out fast. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. Really nice job there of the quarterback reading coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. Got it! And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. Man, it's so important when you play QB. I got to know when to put some air on it, and I got to know when to rocket that thing in there. Work in the middle of the field. He knew he needed the rocket. Threw it in there. Great job. Great catch. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. They'll immediately call timeout. Can the D deny them on second and goal? To throw, it's Fafita. And he'll sail it way too far for everybody. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Looking to the end zone on third and goal. And it's caught! Touchdown, Wildcats! And third and goal, I'm giving it to my playmaker. You let your quarterback make this decision whether he wants to run it in or right here. He sees the opportunity. His guy's wide open. Hits him in stride for the easy touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point gives him a 28-3 lead. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Only 10 seconds remaining here in the first half as they put it in play, first and 10. They'll run it on the counter. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw. 
And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Arizona Stadium. Arizona is set to start this second half. They'll kick it off. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Looking to throw, it's Sanders. Fires to the middle. Makes a connection. Stopped at the 42, but he got 15 yards on the play. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. They'll keep it on the ground. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll try it again. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Catch in the middle. It's Hayden. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. I bet it felt good to hit that quarterback late until you got an earful from the coach and cost your defense 15. They're going to run it to the right. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps, everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You can tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. The inside handoff. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Wants to throw. It's Sanders. And his throw is incomplete. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. After the earlier field goal, they'll try again, this time a 43-yard attempt. Absolutely perfect. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. 
Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Well, it's not a home run, but it's just enough by the running back to move the chains. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. Use the play fake, now to throw. He's got an open man. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver, and the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Arizona going back to work with another first down. Looking for a man. It's Fafita. Fires to the middle. Got his man downfield. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. Trying to find his man on first down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. After the incompletion, they're facing a second and 10 from the 25. The play-action fake unloads to the wideout. Oh, he can't hang on, and those arms might have favored an alligator there, and it'll be third down. Well, it's a good route by the wide receiver. He gets to the middle of the field. I think he just took his eyes off the football. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Unloads to the right. He's missed three in a row now with that last incompletion. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And he'll need a little distance and accuracy, a 42-yarder from the left hash. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And now the lead is extended a little far. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be knocked down. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. On the run, it's Hayden. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Grab behind the line. It's Horn. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. They go to the ground. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. And 
just a great job by the defense being stout, right? That's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's one on one. Stop the run first. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking to pass. It's Sanders. He makes the connection. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Line is set on third down. Now the play fake. Trying to burn this defensive back. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. And the Buffaloes line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, David. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Pressure coming. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And the big defensive tackle getting off the rock. Nice job seeing play action. Understand his pass. Beats the guard. Gets to the quarterback and gets the QB on the ground. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Movement here from the tight end. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Still on his feet at the 45. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Well, the defense wasn't expecting that. They had a lot of guys back into coverage. That was second and a lot of yards to go, and they got caught off guard. Not enough guys in the box to control that running back. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. And he picks up a first down. That is not a flag on the play. It's just lingerie on the deck after that move. And I know it's not sexy, but those little runs just keep you on your heels, keep the sticks moving, making you understand, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be patient. A lot of offenses aren't patient. They get too play, big play happy, wanting to force the ball down the field. This offense is staying nice and patient right now. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. That's the end of the quarter, and Arizona has the lead here. They've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. They'll line up for a second down play. Out of the gun. The running back has it. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. And the defense down in this game, they just can't do anything to stop this offense at this point, David. Right now, they know they're going to be trying to run the football and try and ice the game, but there's nothing at this point it seems they can do. Yeah, and it's frustrating. I got to sell out, man. I got to bring as many guys to the line of scrimmage as I can. I got to find a way to get this ball back to my offense. The, the clock is not my friend, and them running the football is only going to run this thing out quicker. I got to find a way to make something happen, strip the football, do something. 
great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the run. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. And the defense was locked in. You could tell they saw it. They reacted right away. Got the running back on the ground immediately. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. And the try is no good. Well, they missed the field goal. That's about the only thing that hasn't gone their way in this one. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. It's really hard to win football games when you're one-dimensional offensively, and that's the case. They just have not been able to get anything going, throwing it deep down the field. They haven't won their one-on-one -on -one matchups. Quarterback has missed some throws, and as a result, in the fourth quarter, they barely have 100 yards passing, and that's why they're losing. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Going for it all. And it's incomplete, and the defense stands tall and gets off the field. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. They move the tight end all over. Out of the gun, the inside give. Just what this offense was looking for sets him up at the 26 with the first down. And it's really nice to have a workhorse running back that you know you can feed and get productive gain after gain. Now over 100 yards. You've already got some separation on the scoreboard. I would continue to feed this workhorse. They're going to ride this running back. Powers forward but stopped after a pickup of two to the 24. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. To the ground to try to move the chains. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. Looking to convert, Arizona comes to the line. Running for it on fourth down. Got enough space. Touchdown, Arizona. And the route is on. 
Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. Getting set for the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And it was capped off with an impressive 16-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Grabbed in the middle, it's Hart. And he's marked down right there, but a good pickup, and it'll be a first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game, but trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. He makes a catch. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. You know, football really is a game similar to chess, and there's this cat and mouse game going on between the offensive and defensive coordinators right now. It'll be interesting to see later in the game if the offensive coordinator shows the defense the exact same pre-snap look. The defense will be thinking they're going to the corner route, but then this time the receiver will break to the middle of the field. Might catch the defense completely off guard. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Excellent throw by the quarterback. Found the window between the zones and then delivered the ball on time. The Buffaloes getting set on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the big fella. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. The big fella, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. They keep attacking through the air. Throws to the tight end. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Balls at the 24. A lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. Grab near the marker. It's Hart. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. They showed this run in the first half, right? You saw it. They loaded up on this side, ran the football, had some success. What do they do in the second half? Pull some guys, run the counter the other direction to keep the defense off balance. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Got it! And he'll take it in for the touchdown. It won't have much impact on the outcome of the game, but it is a fabulous parting gift, a consolation prize, if you will. Nice play there by the offense, but still a ton of ground to make up. Yeah, this one's pretty much over, but listen, put that exclamation point on it. Finish the way you want to finish. Make sure your offense keeps that momentum going. It can build throughout the season. He'll try to tack on one more. Bam! 
bangs it through for an extra point. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. The returner is going to try to see what he can get. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. They want that clock to run. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Line getting set on second down. From the gun, give on the inside. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. The give on the inside. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. On the return, it's Horn. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stopped. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positives. Well, this might be an opportunity, too, Reese, to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working. There weren't a lot, obviously, David, but maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook a little bit. I was going to say, there's not a lot of good to go back to. That'd be a quick film session because there was more negatives than positives. But when you look at this, this week you've got a week to figure it out, figure out what your offense is going to be moving forward. To the air on first down. Pulls it in. It's Hunter. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail. And that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. Down to the 26-yard line and a first down. Back to throw. It's Sanders. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Looking down the middle. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put... All the facets of defense together, run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell they were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Timeout is called, clock stops, 13 seconds to go in the game. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man, doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on, and now just throw another sack in the equation, hitting the quarter. Fires into traffic, intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. The 40. The 20. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Wildcats. Dude, this, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays. 
and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone.